Oh, Jase, you've forgot something, haven't you? No, you forgot. <laughs> you forgot. You I, forgot. I, I wasn't here, so I couldn't have forgotten. Forgot well, this van. You forgot to review it, didn't you? Yeah. And what's happened to this van? Sold. <laughs> oh, we're going out as well. Going out, we've not reviewed it. Not no reviewed. videos of it. Done nothing to no. it, have we? No, nothing to So, shall we get the van set up? Yep. And do a review at the same time? Yeah, so people can see what we actually do before they take their van away from us. What do you mean we do? I mean what I do? Well, who's here now at the other end of this camera? Right, Swift Compact C205. Nice little Swift Compact van. So let's whip around. With a garage. Look. Oh yeah, with a garage. It's a compact. Compact garage. How does that work? And a compact van. Mm, we'll have to have a look. We'll have to have a look. <clears throat> so, come on, follow me. <laughs> oh, it's following me. <laughs> Yeah, new shape 2020. Yep. There we go. Um, and you can see it's got sold in the window. 2.3, 120 brake horsepower. And there we go. So we've got the fresh water. Yeah. Fresh water fill up. We've also got what we've got there, Cav. A little 12 volt socket so you can power a pump to pump out of something like an aqua roll and fill your tank yeah. if you're not near a tap. Now, this is posh. Right. If you look down here, there is the um, fresh water drain off. That's the waste, no, fresh water drain off, waste water drain off, right? And the posh, you press a button and they open up. Electronically. Electronically. Because um, that toilet, trust me, you've got to lock it. <laughs> there's the fluid for the heating system. And there's your little garage cab. Not a little garage cab. No, it? if you can just pop in down there, this is where the, this part, this part here, is where the water heat is housed, but if you just pop down there, you'll see the drain off for it. You see the little yellow leaves there. Oh, yeah, probably. Yep. You might see it down there. Have you got it? I don't know. Hey. I, couldn't, I couldn't see because I couldn't get with it. <laughs> right, so you put your hand in, you put your hand in there, there's a drain off. So let me just check. Yeah, I have pulled that down. Um, provisions for a bike rack. <laughs> Yeah, as well. Factory fitted brackets for bike rack. Two degrees in cameras on it. Oh, Twin cameras. There there's you go. A, there's your better garage door. We've got size in there, don't we? And also in here, we've got your battery charger. Battery charger. And there we've got your pump. Nice, nice spot there, that pump, isn't Brilliant it? Brilliant spot. And you've yeah. got you've got a light up there as well, Jess. Got a light. Look, turn the light off. Yeah. Look, oh, oh, that's, that's bright. bright. <laughs> <laughs> and also. A 240 volt socket. Yeah. Good size garage that. Who cool. Yep. Yeah. Barbie. Barbie point. And then... Okay. So switch this gas on. Takes up two sixes, yeah. Can I check? Yeah, two sixes in there. When you can get hold of them at the moment. Right, let me just show you. Put this on. That's touch screen there, oh, go to the home. That's possible. So we've got the pump, only light lights. You can even dim them as well. Yeah. Never been able to get you from dimmed. <laughs> um, see that? We've got all lights on. <laughs> you can't there. Dumb and dumber. <laughs> <laughs> now you can actually operate your fridge off here as well. You see? So if I put this on now, press gas. We come down here. Look. Look at that. Now that is, why would you need to do that when you can reach that panel with one hand and you can reach the fridge with the other hand? Hey, well, let me check it's lit. Yeah, that's lit. Just double check. You look like a safe cracker then. Safe cracker? <laughs> yeah, listening for the tumblers on the combination. So that's lit on the gas and then if we want, we can move that over to 230. Yep. And that's moved over onto 230. Mm -hmm. Nice blue light there, say it's working. Very nice. Very close. So, uh, we haven't even explained the van, have we? So, um, Swift Compact. Um, do you want to just do the count first, Kev? Uh, it's on a Fiat Takato, it's a six speed as well. Euro six engine, 2.3. Got, yeah. got the media pack. Go on, you do that. We've got air conditioning. Uh, we've got the reverse camera there. And as Jason always says, we've got steering wheel. We've got cruise control, it's all singing, all dancing. We've got blinds on the front screen 
and then if you look at your side windows you've got the press studs for the silver screens that go on there right so it's under six meters this is kevin right 2020 what's the mileage Ooh, 4, 690 miles <laughs> How far? Um, weights 3,300 kilograms. What's your payload? Payload 480. Yeah, 608. Um, good payload, and it's five, just under six meters. The van is really small. You get it on a supermarket car park. Mm -hmm. Fresh water 90. 100. Waste 80. 60. Better get out and right. Transverse double bed. Yeah, so you've got your double bed at the back. You've got good storage all the way round, um, wardrobe, just want to pop your head in there. Yep. And you've got your aerial there and you've got the leg for your table. Yeah, and then your, your table's also in here as well. Yeah. So we've got that. Um, I've just put the guest on, I should prime everything. The table through. actually goes there in the socket in the floor. You've got three burner hubs. Yeah, we're all primed up there. And now I just want to get some um, water coming through, Kev. So if we go to the menu there, put the pump on. There we go, we've got the pump going. Turned off in the shower room. Probably not. She's the shower room, ain't they? Mm. Why are you putting it up there? Nobody can see anything when it's up there. And People look, are just like totally but, bored, just looking at the look, switch screen, like, aren't they? You get like little lights. Look, look at that there. That's only through the camera, really. It's not yeah, really. Well, 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 people are just going to switch off now because they're just looking at a swift <laughs> screen, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Well, turn the water through. That's better. You show people what we're actually doing. Spluttering a bit because he's uh, had the water heater drained. Because Why have I had the water heater drained? It's going cold at night time, so we don't want to chance freezing your water heater up. Uh, one expensive bit of kit. See, see, people don't want to look at the tap. They do because we're waiting for the water to come through. You want to see things being done? <laughs> so I'm pointing the camera at you then, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was a quickie that was, Kev. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. give you that one. It's a tip for tat. <laughs> so just explain to people what's happening now, Kev. What's happening? Because the water is sold about 10 litres of water and Jason drained it because obviously, like we said, the cold weather. So now what it's doing now, the pump is pumping and it'll continue to pump until it's filled the water each up so we've got it turned in the hot position and then once we've got a continuous flow coming out of the tap when we turn the tap off the pump should stop that's the idea Kev that's the general idea and if the pump doesn't stop we should have to panic because we think we're going to leak <laughs> um, so we've got blinds while we're waiting for this to prime on the ice creams um, actually we've got the skylight there, skylight there, skylight skylight there. there. you've got your panoramic nice, one there, nice big panoramic skylight, and then here you've got your um, little dinette area, uh, that's the carpet which we're taking up because Jason gets them all muddy and with his feet, fresh water tanks underneath there, yep, a bit of storage, now you see that there, that's the bung and the fresh water tank as well, so even though it is an electronic one, you can put a bung in as well. Right, so there's right, so the water's brown. What you turn the tap off now. If you listen, listen, boom, listen. There we go, and the pump stopped. So I'm just going to prime up in here, Kev. Can we have a look in there, will you? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, go on then, have a look in there. As long as you're not sat for Luke. <laughs> it's not a bad little toilet area, actually. Actually, it's a nice. It's a wet room. Yeah, uh, so let me check my to toilet. Oh, you just turned that fridge off again. I know. I caught it with my coat. I kept doing that, didn't I? Look, listen, listen. Automatic. <laughs> just explain the washroom. Right, in the washroom, you've got your tap here, and then you've got your, that's your shower. You've got your bracket up there for your shower. So it's a combined shower toilet. You've got storage up there, nice big mirror, nice and bright, and you've got your skylight as well. And then you have a shower curtain which you pull round, which is to protect your door. The rest is all plastic lined. So yeah, nice nice shower room. I've just, and I've just messed the fridge up. 
Um, so we brought the water through, haven't we? Yeah. Primed all up. And just quickly show you the true monitor. Yeah. So again, it is on the eye net, but if you want to do it manually, first one there is your heating. So you can go right the way up to 30 degrees. Normally as a rule of thumb, 18 is about right for a room. Um, that's your water. You can either have it on boost, eco or hot. If you have it on boost and the heating inside, the van will stop working because it's transferring all the energy. Usually put a boost water. when you want to use the shower. And then we can either have two kilowatts, one kilowatt, mixture of gas and electric, or we can have gas on its own. So we'll just put that on there now. And then your last one there is your fan, eco or I. Um, so we'll just put them on now. We've, yeah, got, we've covered them on numerous. Yeah, we've got something. fly screen on the habitation door. Um, and then just above that, good size there, aren't it? Socket for your microwave, good plate storage, good cup storage. Uh, we've got two 240 volt sockets there. Right, the last one. Watch how it goes off. Look, watch, watch, see how it goes on. Then watch. Yeah, when you turn it off, it goes in. We had this Kevin done it. We had this at another Swift. Thing. Watch, watch. Remember one watch, one? Kevin. Dimmer. No, you're dimmer. <laughs> or are you dimmer? Uh, these are nice. Little yeah. surroundy things, aren't they? Yeah. And again, you, get your you, can dim, you can dim those lights on the control panel as well. Can't yeah, you can. Like, so if we go, bam, we have the light in there. And then we've got um, dimmer one, dimmer two. So we can just change them. Uh, quite easy uh, panel to use actually to be honest with you. Touch screen isn't it yeah? Yeah we've got a couple more here. Reading lights. Light. Oh. <laughs> and again there's another one over here. And obviously your two seat swivel. You've got your captain's chairs. You usually plant your backside on them to have a chat don't you? Mm. Um, so right so we've set the van up. Um, pass me checklist over Kev. I think we're all ready for the... Well just what we'll do now then is we'll um, get the carpet to just a quick check up, make sure everything's tidy, ready for them. We've got the fridge on, so it's just a pre-check really, yeah. before it goes out. Um, we've done everything on the list, we've put an electric hook up in the van, uh, we put, we put a gas bottle on, um, everything's checked off. The only thing we need to do is, we'll just whip around, because I like to do these last, um, I've cleaned all the rubs up, we'll just whip around and still can spray them and just double check the hatches are all nice Why do we still look and spray the rubbers Jason? Could just go on my list. Yeah, but why do we do it? Could it's on my list. Why do we do it? Just revitalises them. It stops them sticking to the, to the, uh, yeah. to the windows. And if you do come to open a window on a van, if you've got a van, if you've not opened the window for a while, don't force it because you'll rip your rubber, ease them off gently. Bit of silicon spray. Checked all these power points? I've checked all the power points. Did you check the one in the, um, in the garage? garage? I did. Okay. On the microwave one up there. Good. And I'm the one under the there. There's one under there for this. Yeah. There's a secret one under there. Secret one under there. Yeah. Right, so we'll wrap this up, eh? Yeah. Um, the Swift Escape Compact. Um, I pretty much told you everything about it, really. <laughs> nice little van, this is, isn't it? Lovely little compact, yeah. 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 Um, just I will just do this, actually. Just give you some idea of the dinette area for, for a compact van. Yeah, see what I mean? We're getting a good, nice good area even, here. Even when you've got your table in there, yeah. you've still got a good area. Haven't you just? Yeah. So it make, makes use of the front seats. With some vans, if the, if the wardrobe or toilet area is right up behind the driver's seat, you've, you've bas basically you've got wasted space there, haven't you? Wasted space! <laughs> right, so we're done. Um, singing, please. There we go, pretty easy to set up that was as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Set the van up. So there we go, the Swift Escape Compact. Nice little van, perfect for two people. Um, I think that's all it's ever going to suit really, two people, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, More yeah. than anything. Um, yeah. Two people and a little dog. It's got a little dog. Oh, a dog? No yeah. cat? You could have a cat, yeah. Okay. And decent wash washroom. Yeah. Good you, size washroom. Yeah, you've got your transverse bed, you've got you've got your garage as well, we forgot about the garage. Yeah. And uh, like I say, nice and easy to set up. You get um, a couple of fold-up bikes in that garage, you mm, wouldn't need a bike rack on the back, yeah. would you? Right, so let's get this van finished off. Um we've done the review now, so that's got us out of trouble. Yeah. Um <laughs> and let's carry on with this van, eh? Yep. Yeah.